Hello, so this is the device teardown analysis of the iHealth glucometer. So this is from the brand iHealth Labs, which is a subset from the Apple Corporation. So when we turn around, we can see there's multiple languages presented. And on the back, we see that there is an app available on the Google Play and the Apple App Store that users can download, and also a QR code that users can scan to gain more information about the device. So this comes with the compact blue travel case, and here's the lancing device which patients use to prick their fingers to gain the blood sample needed. Here you can just twist a dial and then press a button to prick. Here's the USB charging cord. And here are 10 prepackaged lancets that you put into the lancing device to prick the finger. So you can see this is the main glucometer device. And on the side here is the power button. And on the other side is a micro USB port, which we open to charge the device when needed. So now we're going to be taking apart this device. So you can see here the main LED display screen which will then take off. So this circuit board has six main components, a LED screen, Bluetooth antenna, a thermistor, a six pin reader, and a microprocessor. So we can now take the circuit board out of its main casing. And when we turn it around, we see that the Bluetooth antenna is located here, which allows the device to wirelessly communicate with our smartphone devices and transfer the data. And then right next to it is a thermistor, which is a resistor that is affected by temperature and allows the device to gauge the temperature of the environment around it to determine if the readings will be accurate or not. And then right above it is the microprocessor, which is basically the brains of the device. It integrates all of the signals and communicates with the display to make it function and display properly. And at the bottom here is a 6-pin reader and it connects directly to the test strip and it reads the voltage created by the strip with the blood. And we see here is a lithium ion battery which will hold a charge for a long time and can hold up the lifetime of the device uh, quite well. And this sits at the bottom of the casing attached to the circuit board. So beneath the battery is the final component. This is the strip ejection mechanism. You can see that the spring here is integrated into the lower shell and it functions via a simple button push, which removes the glucose test strip from the port of the device. So here we see the glucometer and we want to show how this pairs with uh, the user's smartphone device. So here is the iGluco app. And this is to connect it via Bluetooth, which you can then go to the settings. So once your device is connected, you can go back to the iGluco app and then these are just some initial steps to follow. So once the device is connected via Bluetooth, you can then press the plus button and this is where the input details are located. So to go through the rest of the app, you just go to the bottom menu, here are the statistics, the cloud storage option, and then some extra details that the app has for its users. And then the final button is for the settings of the device. So after Bluetooth connection, the app then requires the user to scan a QR code of the iHealth Glucose test strip vial. So now we can go ahead and insert one of the iHealth Gluco test strips inside the device. And this tells the app that there is one inserted and then the user can now obtain a blood sample and get their glucose level readings. So we will now see what happens when we obtain a blood sample and have the glucometer read it. So here we have the lancet and I'm going to place it in the lancing device like so. 
So once it's firmly secured, just put the top back on. You can then twist it to set the level that you want the lancet to pop out at. We will then insert a eye health glucose test strip into the port and then obtain the necessary blood sample. So you just have to twist the bottom and once you do that, you just press a button and then you just place your finger against the test strip and then the device will read the glucose levels and then you can see here on the app it displays the glucose levels in milligrams per deciliter and then you can go back to previous readings and then just see what the trends are and this is how you use the iGluco application.